guys good morning it's your girl tiara gives life back with another video and today i'm basically on my way to get my hair done and it's kind of it's gonna be kind of like a pampering day just waiting for me to deliver my due date is like in two days and well they actually gave me a due date of like a whole week but last week when I went to the doctors, he said I haven't dilated yet. So he was actually going to induce me for labor last week. But I haven't dilated, so he couldn't induce me. So now I'm basically just waiting around on my baby girl's time. So what I decided to do is just to prepare even more. I'm about to go get my hair braided. Then I'm going to get these mid bits, my nails done. And I'm thinking about trying eyebrow tinting today. I don't know we'll see and I already have her bag the, my hospital bag packed one the last thing I have to do I just have to wash her blanket and put that in the bag and then I'll be just waiting around I guess so yeah I'm actually about to go get my hair braided but first I have to go to the beauty supply store to get the hair to match my hair color the braider she supplies hair but I just want to make sure like I have like the right color because I don't want to like go spend my money and then like she has to mix in black with my red or whatever but this beauty supply store that I went to before they have this really bomb like um, ombre red hair it matches my hair perfectly and then the end is like this really bright like fiery red so I'm gonna see if they have that they open at 10 is 9 50 so I should be there by 10 and then my appointment is at 10 30 so then I just gotta like skedaddle across town and make my appointment and get my hair done and then I'm gonna go get nails. Just pulled up to the beauty supply store. Whew. And my daughter is on my hip, so. Whew. I have a limp. She's on my hip, so I have a limp. She's on my sciatic nerve, or whatever my doctor said. So I have a limp. And it hurts. It's getting better, but it hurts. So, yeah. <sighs> People dog walking out here and stuff. <sighs> I feel like I'm early. Color. This is the color I was talking about. It matches my hair perfectly here, then it gets like this bright, fiery red. So let me go pay for this with my gift card. Hmm. That beauty supply store is like fairly new in the area I live in, and they literally have everything. And like, I love that store. Like, they have everything. Like, it's not like you know how some beauty supply stores are just like a little hole in the wall and they just have like random stuff like spread out this store is actually like organized with natural hair care products perms wigs like the latest makeup they sell morphe in there they sell the sasha beauty in there everything it's like a like a less upscale version of sephora or whatever but just with like it's like an instagram beauty supply store like everything you would see on Instagram they have it in there like just it's amazing I love it but it's almost 10 15 I think my appointment is like 30 minutes away so I'll get there like 15 minutes late hopefully she'll still take me if not I'll try to go somewhere else but I'm gonna turn this off because I have to put on my navigation to get there I don't know how to get there by heart so I'm gonna say bye to you guys for now and then Make my way there, get my hair braided, and I'll check back in. Are y'all ready for this transformation? Are y'all ready? <laughs> I'm trying to focus it on me, but my hair is done. This is the color. It's done. It's done. took two hours well I was a little late so like an hour and a half but yeah 
That's cute. Cute. Now I need to find me. I need to find me a Chick fil A. Lake. I need to find me a Chick fil A. Let me see. I need to hook this up so I could map it, search it on map or whatever. I don't think it's gonna work. CarPlay, Google Map. I need to find me a Chick fil A restaurant. Hold on, I'll be back, y'all. I'm about to find me a Chick-fil-A. Hold on. Alright, so I found a Chick-fil-A. It's 12 minutes away. And I'm starving. So let me get my food. Way. I think I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go this way. It's telling me to go. Oh wait, it's telling me I can go this way now. It's like rerouting or rerouting, however you see it. Yeah, let me get some Chick-fil-A. I haven't tried that Popeye's chicken sandwich yet. I'm actually scared to try it because the way everyone was acting over it. And I don't want to act like that. So, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even been back to Popeye's. And Popeye's has, like, some of my favorite foods. Like, I love their Cajun rice. And I love their fries. And then I love their, um, their sauce they have with their chicken tenders. What is it called? Um, that sweet and spicy sauce. I forget what it's called. Sweet Heat, that's what it's called. They have that sauce, but I haven't been back to them because, like, I'm just like, what's the hype over this chicken sandwich? And it's just, like, making people act like animals, and I'm just scared to try it. Like, I'm super scared to try it, and I don't want to. Like, I want to, but I don't because I'm scared. But, yeah, so I'm about to just go get me some Chick-fil-A and uh, get me some Chick-fil-A. I'm thinking about trying the spicy chicken sandwich this time. And I'm thinking about trying the spicy chicken sandwich this time. But I know it has like tomatoes and lettuce and stuff on there. So I'm trying to figure out like why it has all that. Like why can't it just have like the pickles on there? I guess I could just ask for the pickles. Like the regular chicken sandwich. But yeah, I'm going to try that this time. I need to get some food in me, really, so I could take my prenatals, take my medicine for my baby. <sighs> Go because you all out in the street anyway. But yeah, and give me some waffle fries and give me a lemonade. Yeah, but I really love my hair. Super cute. Cute. And I have like little beads and stuff like the um the gold accessories so I'm gonna put them on when I get home. Is it just me or do stop signs just come out of nowhere? Like you just don't see them. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I can't see it coming down my eyes, so I gotta make this song cry. I was wondering, maybe, can I make you my baby? That is so cute. Little cow deers. Cow reindeers. <laughs> this sandwich is like hella spicy. This sandwich is hella spicy. Like OMG. Hella 
was basically hella good. Wow. So these are my nails. I got some pointy stiletto nails. Pink and glittery. Yeah. And I'm about to head home. I have class at 5.30. It's 2.44. So. I'm about to go home. I have to grab my book bag. I didn't bring it with me. So, yeah. I have to go home, grab my book bag. I love my nails. They look so cute. If I find... If, like, baby girl comes, like, this week like she's supposed to, based on what the doctor told me, and I can't really handle her with these nails, I'll just go get them cut down. Or I'll clip them myself no biggie but yeah i love these freaking nails they're so pretty and i got pink for her of course i just want my baby to hurry up and come it's like now that it's closer to when they told me she would come it's like it's taking like mad long like so long so yeah i just want her to hurry up and I'm like really thirsty. I drank my whole bottle of water. I drank my whole lemonade from Chick-fil-A. And like I was at the mall getting my nails done. But I didn't feel like walking all the way to the food court. Just for something to drink. So I guess I'll stop at a drive through or something. Or oh, whatever. But yeah. I like how he did my nails. Even though like. He kept on like forcing my hand and stuff like forcing my hand to go this way or whatever but i'm just like sir calm down it's not that serious like and then on the thing on the receipt there wasn't anywhere to like put a tip for the credit card and i didn't i don't have any cash on me so like i didn't give him a tip so i'm thinking like maybe that was another reason why he got so forceful at the end and was just like dry your hands and like just being mean or whatever <laughs> But I feel like it's good to give a tip, but I feel like you don't have to give a tip because, like, you're already paying for a service. And it's just like, what if I think your service wasn't good enough for a tip? I always find that people in those type of, in those type of, like, fields, work fields, expect you to give them a tip regardless of how they did your nails or, like, gave you the service. It doesn't always work like that. Like, you can't demand a tip. I remember one time when I was in school, I went to FIT in New York. I had ordered some Chinese food. So, at this time, I was a broke college student. I really didn't have, like, much money. So, I had enough to pay for the food that I ordered and for the delivery. So, the guy, when he drops the food off, he's just like, I want a tip. And I'm just like, um, I don't have a tip. <laughs> But he's like, he was really like demanding me to give him a tip. And I'm just like, I don't have it. Like, I didn't have a tip. I really didn't have a tip at that time. I'm sorry that like you picked this job and you demand tips from people, especially broke college students. And you get upset when you can't get a tip, even though this is the job you chose or whatever. But like, he was really demanding me to get a tip. I was like, so I said, I could go upstairs and see what I have. I only had a quarter. I came back downstairs and I gave him a quarter and he was like even more mad but I'm just like I told you I don't have a tip but like in our dorms we had security officers like at the entrance so he was like getting really aggressive so like I felt safe because the security guard was there so I just went back upstairs with my food like I didn't have a tip I was a broke college student I could barely pay for my Chinese food so like I didn't really care if he was mad but it was just like the fact the way like those people act like people who do delivery or food service or like waitress or anything they always expect you to give them a tip but like you chose that field I'm not trying to be rude but it's just like be humble or be considerate like everybody doesn't have a tip just like 
you want to keep asking for a tip because you need the money like a lot of people don't have the money to give to give you a tip basically so that's just how i feel i feel like people shouldn't be forced to give tips because you never know like maybe i just had a little bit of extra money to treat myself to some nails make myself feel good or whatever maybe that's the case and you're demanding the tip or anything maybe i like i said a college student only had a little bit of money to just get me something to eat while i studied so uh, that's why i gave them the tip that's why i just lost my train of thought because this guy in the car <laughs> this guy in the car next to me was just like staring at my face when i looked over that's why I need to get my tents back. I need to get my tents back on my car. I was in an accident in April, so I had to get a new car. I had a Nissan, and I had got tents on it and everything. And when I got in an accident, I ended up getting a different car than what I had than the Nissan, and I haven't gotten my tents back yet. So I need to get my tents back on my car because people are too dang nosy. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> like, I like being in my car, minding my business. But people always are minding my business, basically. Or whatever. So. Yeah. But yeah, like, people don't always have the extra money to give a tip. And I just feel like people who work in services where they provide a service to people, you shouldn't demand a tip. Like, because you chose that field. You should just love what you do love making people I know like I'm interested in makeup and I'm interested in fashion and styling I like that because I love making people feel good about themselves not because I expect tips or I'm doing it for the money like if I was to have a makeup job or whatever and I go do someone's makeup I'm not gonna expect them to give me a tip because I did their makeup I did their makeup or whatever so I think that's just selfish like you shouldn't expect someone to give you a tip when they're already paying for the service and that's just how I feel and that's that on that <laughs> okay. I just made it back in the house and our Christmas tree is up. Um, I'm about to get me some water and I'm about to take a nap. It's like 3 o'clock. I'm about to try to take a nap to like 4.30 so I could be on my way to class. Class starts at 5.30 and there'll be traffic. So I'm trying to beat the traffic and get there on time and give me a parking space and all of that. So yeah, I'm about to take me a nap because I'm sleepy. Give me some water because I'm dehydrated, baby girl. It's dehydrated. We need to get some water. So, y'all, I'm up now. And I'm low-key mad because on my alarm, I put a.m. instead of p.m. So, now I'm, like, a little bit late. So, I might run into traffic. <laughs> but let me get up. That was a nice little nap, though. A nice little nap. A nice little nap, or whatever. But yeah, I need to get up. Put my shoes on. I need something sweet. And I need some candy. Mmm. I wish I had some watermelon sour patches. That's what I've been craving for like a while. But yeah, I'm about to get ready and get the class. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Got my bag. Got my purse. Got my little Hershey kiss. For my sweetness. And I'm about to go. Whoa. Hey. Told y'all I was gonna be stuck in traffic even just a little bit minute late. Yep, stuck in traffic, but I'm like two minutes away, but this traffic will make it like 10. 
I'm just trying to get there as so I can go to the vending machine. Hey y'all, back again. Um, today is December 4th. Today was my actual delivery. So, regardless of my phone just falling on the floor, today is my actual delivery date. Um, still no delivery, obviously. My doctor said that he's going to in have me induced on Monday, December 9th. So, and I have a biophysical exam tomorrow. What that is, is basically an ultrasound to examine the physical... Like, it's like a stress test for the baby to see how they'll do or kind of predict how they'll, they'll do during delivery or whatever. If they'll be able to handle the delivery at this point. I'm overdue. Like, I'm 40 weeks and three days. So, she's supposed to be here right now, but she's not yet. And, yeah, so that's what the plan is. My ultrasound is tomorrow. And then I get induced on Monday. I have an exam tonight, which I'm actually on my way to my school right now to go in the computer lab and study for that. It's a lab practical. And then my microbio lecture lab was supposed to be on Monday, but I'm going to email my teacher, email her or call her and see if I can do it Friday or if she has a Saturday class. Because if I get induced Monday, there's no exam for me, at least on Monday. Or, I just want to do it, like, I just want to get it over with before Monday. So, like, once my baby's here, like, I could just be done with the semester, have my grades and everything's fine. And then, like, focus on my baby. So, I don't want to have the, to schedule the exam after I give birth, basically. So I'd rather have everything done before I give birth. So 
she should be open to letting me take it early at least it's not taking it late so yeah so we'll see how that goes but I just had me some Panda Express when I go to Panda Express I always get the Panda Bowl with black pepper chicken and the chow mein the noodles that they have and then I got a lemonade from Chick-fil-A so I was actually initially on my way to Chick-fil-A but then I saw that they had a Panda Express like across from there and I was like I just had Chick-fil-A the other day let me get something different and my taste buds agreed so I got some Panda Express with a Chick-fil-A lemonade and yeah I really need some candy or something Oh, also, I have to remember before my exam tomorrow, I have to eat something sweet like a candy bar or drink a sweet drink an hour before the exam. So, my exam's at 9. I got to wake up at 8 and eat a candy bar. <laughs> I was thinking with jelly on toast like suffice, but I don't think that's enough sugar. So, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm so excited. My baby girl's about to be here. I'm so freaking excited. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to make her just like me. <laughs> so I'm in my school's computer lab to study for my exam in two hours. And the internet's not breaking. Like, it's not working. I have notes, of course, but I need the internet to make sure everything is accurate. Get my pen. See what I'm supposed to be studying. So, don't mind my chicken scratch from here on down. And here, that's what I'm supposed to be studying for the exam. Try to refresh. Maybe Microsoft Edge. That was Google Chrome, so maybe Microsoft Edge will work. Huh. That came up with the quickness. And we're in action. Wait, I was still logged in. That's not good.
Okay, I'm gonna get to work. All right, y'all, so I'm super excited because I just finally got to see my baby's face on the ultrasound for the first time because the last time I had the ultrasound, she was like smushed on her side. But today she was showing her whole face. And I personally think she looks like my dad. Like she has some of his features. I didn't really see how big her forehead was because like a big forehead runs like on my dad's side of the family. So I didn't really get to see that. It was just like her eyes, her nose and her mouth. And then like she has chubby cheeks. So I can't wait to see her little face. Oh my gosh. The doctor said, I don't even remember if I told you. It's a brand new day. Today is December 5th. My due date has come and gone. Um, I don't even know if I told y'all yesterday or not. I can't remember. That's pregnancy brain for you. But I'm getting induced on Monday. So today is Thursday. So I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three days until I'm induced. I didn't take my exam last night because my teacher said that someone complained about us not having a review so ooh, a little break someone complained about us not having a review so he was going to give us a review last night but then some students were like no we want to take the exam because they were prepared but like before all of that happened he said i said i couldn't take it next Wednesday because I'm giving birth I'm getting induced for birth on Monday so he told me I could come Saturday with his, like for his other class and take it with them so I'm just I, they, they ended up taking the exam last night because the students just wanted to get it over with but I was just like I can give myself more time and like really review the information more and take it on Saturday and then like a couple other students decided to take it on Saturday as well. So I'll be taking that exam on Saturday. But my other class exam is on Monday in which I'm getting induced. So I emailed my teacher. I haven't checked my messages. Though. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I emailed her and asked her when can I come and take the exam outside of Monday or like Whenever I find out what time I'm getting induced on Monday, I can take it before or days after, during, still during exam week. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I never gave birth before. This is my first time. So I don't know, like, if I'm going to be able to walk to campus, if she'll let me do it online, if she'll, like, if she'll let me take it outside of exam week i don't know so i'm just waiting for her to reply back and respond back to me and see how that goes but i'm just super excited that my baby is going to be here i'm so excited going to be a mother like I was always terrified of giving birth because I've always been in the health field and I saw like I've always been interested in knowing about birth but then like when I saw it actually happen I think I've seen the wrong people give birth like I've always seen like traumatic births like the lady just screaming like ah what are you doing to me and stuff like that so I've never and then like recently I started seeing births where like it was easy the baby just popped out and stuff like that so it could go either way I hope it's not a traumatic experience <laughs> for me hey guys so I gave birth she's so beautiful like I'm just in awe like she's so pretty and so cute it's so precious. I gave birth. It's December 8th. So December 8th is her birthday. Let me mute this TV. So 
home. I gave birth, her birthday is December 8th, and like, what's wrong, mama? What's wrong? She is so precious. She is just like the most beautiful thing I ever lay eyes on, like, OMG, like, oh my gosh. I'm so happy to have her. But yeah, so, I'm still in the hospital. I'll be here for the next two days. And, like, basically just seeing how I progress, how she progressed and everything before we're allowed to go home. She did give me a small tear. I'm still in a little pain right now. My stomach still has to go down and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just enjoying her. She's so precious. Like, so freaking precious. Yeah. Like, I would do it again. I would do it again. It's like so worth it. So freaking worth it. And then when they took her out, she knew that she was away from me. And then when like they gave her back to me, she just like calmed down. Like when they took her away from me, she was like crying and screaming. And like when they gave her back to me, she just was like looking at me and smiling and like she knew what my heartbeat was and everything she's just so cute and she's so tiny but she's just so cute like oh my gosh so I'm gonna end this vlog here it's not Monday it's Sun. it's Saturday she was born Sunday so a day before they said they were going to induce me and then they were going to induce me Saturday night when I came but I didn't need it so she was ready to come and I'm just happy she's here so we can be all snuggly for Christmas this is amazing it's so beautiful mm <laughs>